So the shape of the mask um, is going to stay as it is, but we want to animate the expansion. Expansion. Now, step one here, boom, and step two from here to here. Okay. And of course, you want to give this uh, Bezier keyframes as well. And now we just need to work on the timing. This needs to start actually when, in this case, if, you, if you're using a single shape, of course, we want to cover the whole screen before the mask starts animating because uh, you want you want to you want to cover the edit point. Here, there you go. Okay, so let's uh, let's replay this. And that's basically it. Simple as that. Okay, and now you could go in and um, just duplicate this and give this another color, maybe this one, uh, and just offset the values here. And that's basically it. And then you can add more colors, more uh, variations. And that's basically how I actually created all these, all these shapes here. One thing when you're using the template, um, one thing you have to keep in mind, uh, I masked the shape here, but in some of these shapes, I masked the opacity of the graphic asset here. Okay, so don't get confused. Sometimes it's in the opacity and sometimes it's in the shape, but um, I was halfway through already and then I noticed that and then I changed it, but it's either in the opacity or in the shape itself, okay? And um, yeah, so it's it's pretty easy. And that the reason why I did that, why I started doing it that way was because I wanted to be able to, uh, to select these, right click and save, save preset. But then I realized, oh, I didn't, I didn't uh, rotate these things, the, the variations as, as I did here. And then I had to rotate the whole, the whole graphic asset here in the, in the rotation value. And that one I can't save out as a preset. So long story short, I saved out a motion graphics template for you. But the good thing about that is it's much easier to apply. So when I uh, delete this, so let's say I'm here and let's say you downloaded the whole pack. Just go into browse and load and these are all the presets and open them. You might know it already. I'm in Germany, so that's why it says öffnen. So um, you want to select the desired um, transition and open it and then it will be uh, visible here in your uh, list of MoGraph templates. Video mark color transition and just, just apply it. But now Here's the edit. Of course, you want to move this over so the edit is happening when the whole uh, image canvas is, is covered. So for that, here's a little trick. Select that graphic asset, hold down the Alt key, and with the arrow keys, you can nudge them frame by frame, okay? And this looks good. That's right in the middle of the transition. And when you play it back now, boom, looks like a charm. And that's basically it. That's how you apply these transitions and actually build them from scratch if you want. Um, it's, it's pretty easy once you know how it's done. But what I really did not understand is uh, why the heck, if you, if you draw this with the rectangle, for one, why is the anchor point top left? Uh, and I can't... If you know that, please put it into the comments. How do I center the anchor point in a rectangle that I just drew on the canvas? I was not able to find out how, how this is done. And um, second, why when I, um, when I center that, as you can see, it's centering the whole shape as if the anchor point was here, but the anchor point is actually top left. So if you have a solution for that, please let me know. But 
I found I found a way to accomplish this, so it worked, and uh, now you end up having all these transitions for free. So have fun with that. Feel free to download and use them for free, and um, let me know in the comments what you think. These should work for square and vertical videos as well. Um, I didn't test it, but if you squeeze them in place, it should actually look good. But since I explained how it's done, you can create them yourself or maybe I would I will create a follow up pack for social video. I don't know. So <laughs> I'll see about that. I'm still working on that bigger template for next week. Um, so look out for that. And yeah, thank you for watching. I hope it was inform informative. I hope you learned something and maybe even a little bit entertaining. <laughs> it's, it's very dry, I know. And uh, I hope I will see you in the next videos. Thank you for watching.